one of the ways that we define productivity is being more efficient, being able to do things more quickly and, and optimize your process for conducting work. With manufacturing productivity, the things we're taking a look at is manufacturing process planning and doing that more efficiently and faster and getting the work done more quickly. And then also by doing your planning more quickly and more efficiently, you're going to be more productive on the shop floor and produce parts more quickly. We took a look at the high level pressures that are driving companies to make changes and make improvements with their manufacturing process planning. And our top pressure was reported by 49% of companies. The top pressure was um, shortened development schedules. So very clearly companies are feeling a lot of pressure to complete their work more quickly and more efficiently. So as we're looking at best ways to solve these challenges, we need to really identify what's working. And to do that, we identify top performers or best-in-class companies. And we ask a series of uh, metrics that are really focused on profitability and would be a good indication of success. And the very top 20% of the companies that, that, do, that meet all of these metrics the best are defined as the best in class. The middle 50% are the industry average and then the bottom 30% are the laggards. And as we conduct our analysis, we, we really focus on what are those best in class companies doing that's really different from their peers. The things that we're really seeing is it's things like the processes that they have in place, what they do to capture their knowledge, uh, and the technologies that they're taking advantage that really enable and support their success. And digital manufacturing plays a key role in that technologies that they're taking advantage of. One of the big things that they do is with managing the bill of materials. Uh, the best in class companies take their engineering bill of materials and reorder that to produce their manufacturing bill of materials. And one of the key enablers for this is they're using product data management systems or a PDM system to manage all of that. And what that allows them to do is they have a single source of data that is making it easier for them to make sure that when there's engineering changes, that information is going to be propagated to the rest of the data. So when the engineering bill of material is updated, the manufacturing bill of materials will also be updated at the same time. And that's also allowing them to make sure that they're reducing errors because there's a single source of data. And, and finally, they're also far more productive because they're not searching for information and searching for different areas uh, to find the information they need. It's all in one central location. Another area that they're really focused on is designing for manufacturability. And they're able to capture some of those manufacturing best practices and store that in a central location and make that available to the engineers. So when the engineers are designing their parts, they're able to um, take some of that manufacturing knowledge and take that into consideration as they make engineering decisions on their design. And that's allowing them to have greater productivity because they're catching problems during the design phase rather than when it's on the shop floor. Another key area for best-in-class companies is the way that they produce their work instructions and validate safety instructions. Uh, one of the key things that they do is capture best practices and make that available within a central source. And what that allows them to do is be able to reuse that information and apply it to new jobs so that they're uh, actually proven and um, reliable practices that they know are going to be work can be reused in a future job. Best-in-class companies also use 3D CAD to lay out their facilities. And this is allowing them to do some high-level planning um, before they actually commit any physical resources to actually lay physically laying out the plant floor. By doing that, they're able to also simulate some of the material flow uh, on the facility floor that's going to allow them to optimize and increase their throughput. So the key is improving actual productivity with digital manufacturing and planning. Having the tools in place to enable engineering and manufacturing collaboration, process simulation, uh, developing work instructions and validating safety requirements. And what's really important to enable all of that is to have a single source of information. And that's important because in this global environment, you need to make sure that everyone around the world is going to have access to the same information that's up to date and without errors. And it also can be reused later on to improve productivity uh, in a future job.